Today we are on our third port stop on our Virgin Voyages cruise in Olbia, located in Sardinia, Italy. If you're on this cruise or a similar one, hope this gives you some great ideas and make sure to check out the description box for links to other videos of port vlogs from this trip. Olbia is by far the shortest port day that you have on a Virgin Voyages cruise, but we were determined to get the most out of our day. Well, I'm awake now. <laughs> Buongiorno from Sardinia. Good morning, so we are just docked and getting off the ship here in Olbia for our port day here. So we're gonna go check it out. We're kind of winging it again. We've got some things pinned to go check out. We're gonna go and explore. If you're curious about things that you can do in Olbia, Italy, hopefully this video will give you some fun ideas. Ready to rock. I'm gonna jump on this little shuttle bus to the main city center. When you dock in Olbia, you'll have to get on one of these shuttle buses that will take you on a very short drive to sort of the gateway to Sardinia. At that point, you get out and you can walk a short distance to the city center. I also heard that there's a little shuttle bus. We decided to rent some scooters to get around the island. They also have cars for rent too, but it was super convenient and easy to access right inside the port. We decided to uh, pop over to this little scooter rental that's like literally right across from the ship. We rented scooters for the day, only 50 euros, which is pretty awesome. We can kind of get around to some of the different beaches and different areas. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. You ready to do this, babe? Yes, I'm going to. <laughs> is this our whip? Our whip, babe. Am I stoked? Yeah. Are you stoked? is known for is their beautiful beaches. You're definitely going to need some kind of transportation in order to access most of them. So we decided to go to the beach as our first stop since it was our furthest point of our day. That way we could work our way back into town as the day progressed. They drove and I navigated the whole group on my phone via Google Maps. I don't know if that was the best decision, but that is what we decided. And I did manage to get us to our first destination without too many hiccups. Definitely going on an adventure now. The beach we were visiting is Calamoresca. They have this parking area that's right off this dirt path right here. You'll see a bunch of cars parked. So whatever you're driving, make sure you park there and walk the rest of the way in. But it is so worth the walk. I mean, look at this gorgeous view. This beach is backed by these abandoned lime mines, which are really interesting. These were in use in the 1950s, I believe, but Calamoresca is just a very small beach. There's no bathrooms or cafes or anything here. So it's very secluded and quiet, but so beautiful. The waters were cool and crystal clear. Ooh. It almost looked like you were in the Caribbean or in the Amalfi Coast. I'm gonna go. Great. <laughs> oh, it's great. Showing off these black stems. <laughs> to the next place. And by the next place, I meant lunch because we were all starving at this point. So we headed the about 12 kilometers back into the city center to grab lunch at this pizza place that I had read some really great things about. Highly recommend this spot for lunch. It was so delicious. They have a great, very beautiful, modern interior space. 
and a really nice little garden terrace area in the back, which is where we ate. The food was so amazing. They have some really delicious fresh seafood and flatbread pizzas. And that looks so good. We're carving it up today. Also, the staff here gave us incredible service. They didn't speak a whole lot of English, but we all figured it out and we had a really amazing meal here. Right across the street from where we were eating lunch was another site that I wanted to check out, the Basilico San Simplicio. I hope I'm saying that right. But if you know me, then you know I love to look at these beautiful old churches in Europe, and this one is pretty old. Supposedly, it was built in the 11th century, which makes it the most ancient church in the north of Sardinia. This church was built in the Romanic style, and it is dedicated and built for St. Simplicius, who was a martyr. In fact, what is the most interesting about this church is not what you see inside, but what they found underneath. Apparently, in an excavation, they found the bodies of 450 martyrs. If you want to see this, you can take a guided tour down there, so just plan accordingly on your visit to Olbia. It was right at this moment in the afternoon that we walked out of the church and it started raining. We looked at the weather report and saw that thunderstorms were coming in quick, so we decided we had to get the scooters back so we didn't get stuck in a downpour. Remember when I said earlier that I was navigating us via Google Maps on my phone? Well, we were trying to find a gas station to fill the gas tanks of our scooters up before returning them, and that's where things started to get a little weird. Whee! I swear, Google Maps had a gas station right near the city center, and since that was where we were close to, I was trying to find it, and this gas station basically did not exist, but it had us on some pretty crazy adventures for sure. But Is a gas station in here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see you there. I think we... The right. Trying to navigate these streets with all the street names in Italian and the street signs not being very big or noticeable was definitely the biggest challenge. Oh well, we tried. Took a one last little drive through the city center. Here's a fun Ferris wheel that you could check out if you have time on your day in Olbia. They also have this really quaint downtown historical city center area that would have been really cute to stop at and enjoy a cafe bite or two. But we had to make sure we didn't get rained on so it was back to the rental place to return these scooters. Okay, well, we are back on the ship. It is kind of a short day here. We had to be back by 5.30 at the latest, and it is now 4 o'clock. It was definitely an adventure. Really fun to take the scooters around, go to that beach that was very secluded and beautiful. The pizza, the food we tried was amazing. So, wish we could have done a little bit more, but I would say a pretty successful port day here in Olbia. I'm gonna drop a couple more suggestions here. Uh, some other things that I wish we could have hit up while we were here, maybe to give you a couple more ideas on things that you can do in a port day in Olbia. If you want to do more of like an excursion, you could go on a full day boat tour of La Maddalena Archipelago and explore the islands. This is a seven hour excursion. It includes lunch and you get to explore the historic village of La Maddalena and go to some of the most remote islands of Sardinia. You could also take a dolphin watching and snorkeling boat tour near Figuerolo. This tour lasts three and a half hours. It includes a snack, some refreshments and beer, as well as snorkeling gear and life jackets. If you want a quick little tour of the city, you can do it via Tuk Tuk. This is a one hour tour and it actually meets up really close right outside of the harbor area. So it's easy to get to off of the ship. And this takes you around a 15 kilometer route through the narrow streets of the historic city center um, to see some of the main sites in Olbia. 
Another Tuk Tuk tour option that is two hours long and is a little bit more food and wine based, definitely the one I would choose, is the Sardinia Food and Wine Tour via Tuk Tuk or a minivan. Again, it lasts two hours. You enjoy an intimate private tour of a local Sardinian winery where you can enjoy an aperitif and a selection of three wines accompanied by a delicious local food. Or you could not be like us and actually stroll the streets of the city center. Make sure to check out Corso Umberto, which is the main street. There's plenty of places, both high end and not, to go shopping. There's fun little cafes where you can people watch. In the city center, you can also visit the other very famous church here, the San Paolo Church, which has this really beautiful dome that is well known for. A cocktail bar that I really wanted to visit was Spirits Boutique. They say that these might be some of the best cocktails on the entire island. This is a small cocktail bar and it's in the historic center of Olbia. They have seasonal local ingredients that they masterfully mix in their cocktails and they even make their own vermouth. The Ferris wheel is also a very fun option. It's really close to the port area and I'm sure it gives you some beautiful views of the city. It didn't appear to be going when we drove past it, but that could have also been because of the rain that was forecast. Another really interesting place you could check out that's very close to the port is the Olbia Archaeological Museum. This is actually one of the few museums in the whole world to have ship's remains on exhibition. Definitely a great place to learn more about Olbia's history. A bit outside the city, you can go hike at the Giant's Grave. This is an archaeological site that dates back as early as the third millennium BC. From here, you can also hike up to the Pedras Castle, which was built as a defensive fortress during the 12th century. It's now ruins, but you can still see the remains of the tower and some of the rooms. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And make sure you subscribe because we will be in Ibiza next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.